Okay, so I have tried positioning myself all over this room and it doesn't really matter where I sit. I look orange nonetheless. I think it's just the color of the lights. So I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. Maybe tomorrow when it's like daylight, I'll see if I open up these curtains and how it looks. I did a little bit of a room tour in my last video with my vlog with me. I ended with here in my room. So now that you guys know what the living conditions are, I am going to begin vlogging my 14 days in here. Hey there you guys, it's Melina and welcome to my days in the life during ROM. Basically, I just got to Japan yesterday. I left Sunday night Hawaii time and spent the next day, all of Monday, basically time traveling. We went first to San Francisco, then we actually went from San Francisco to Japan and people were like, why'd they send you guys that way? And all I have to say is, it's the Navy. They probably got a little bit of a cheaper flight that way, so that's just the deal that they got for us. I have to be in here for 14 days, so let's just go ahead and roll right in. Welcome to day one of my ROM vlog. This is restriction of movement, and I do not leave my room. So the first night we got here, I was on the phone with my mom and my sister and stuff like that. I was just emotional. I sat on the floor because I was filthy from traveling and I just felt terrible. I felt so dirty. We were traveling. It was just like for so long. It wasn't like, you know, just one flight. It was two different flights. I was falling asleep slash being awake. I needed it just to shower and go to bed. I got the emotional support that I needed and then I went ahead and hopped in my shower, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and I was all clean in bed and I just knocked out. I actually believe that I was on the phone with friends. Yeah, I was. I was on the phone with friends and they were just trying to like talk to me and be positive and stuff like that and I fell asleep. I was listening, but I fell asleep because I was so exhausted. So last night for dinner when we got to the room, they were saying we can order stuff for food and like they'll, the Navy will just pay us back for it. So my other teammates were trying to order food and like all the places didn't speak English. They couldn't deliver. They still don't want to be delivering to people's room. So I didn't end up eating dinner. So I went to bed and I woke up this morning and I was like, I really am hungry because I didn't eat last night. Hours kept passing. I woke up at like 10 or something, 9, 30, 10 and like 10, 11, 12. And now just before I got onto this video, I actually got this food delivered to me. They knock on the door and I heard the knock and I waited a little bit. I was like, okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then I open the door and it's just sitting there because it's not supposed to be like no contact or nothing like that. So. I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna show you guys the bag and the food and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the yeah. room. This is the lovely food here. We're gonna get digging into that. Alrighty, you guys, I'm drinking my water. Amazing. This is the bag, this is the food. I'm excited. It's curry, which they have curry in Hawaii. I just never tried it. I think it's kind of a bigger deal here. Like a lot of people always talk about curry. It's just chicken curry. Okay. It smells good. I don't know if it focused at all, but they give you a little spoon here. Oh, look at that, that's cool. So it like has like this little like container. This is the food. So you guys can look see, see. That's like chicken katsu. I know that because when I eat ramen back in Hawaii, that's what they call this, the chicken katsu. And then the spoon just fits right there. I don't know if you guys can see. It has like an actual, you can look. Looks so cute. That's like the curry sauce. They got white rice down here. And then I do not know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is at all right here. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna try it. I just don't know what it is. I'm surprised they didn't give me a fork. It seems like this needs a fork. Or chopsticks, is that like good? Like, no chopsticks, nothing? I guess not. All right, so. Oh, I did it. Honestly, I'm gonna tie my hair back because I don't feel like flipping it back every two seconds when I'm eating. I need to focus. I haven't eaten a meal in a whole day, basically. I've actually gone a full 24 hours without eating anything. Not in my not my fault though, not necessarily because I controlled it. So it, it smells weird now. This this so this like little juice. I mean, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna take a little bit of rice with it. I just dunked my rice in there. It's not bad. I don't know if I love it as much as Ryan, but it's good. It's good. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, I like that flavor actually. It was just different. And now it's like kicking in. I'm gonna have like this katsu. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just dunking it. I, I like it. I like it. I do. I do. guys I'm not gonna sit here and eat in front of the camera the whole time because it has like I have to hold it high up for you guys to see it I wanted to show you guys what it was like tasting this new food I'm excited to see all the different things we're gonna start bringing to my to my door and yeah I'm excited okay, so here is the room I got out all of my toiletries so I can reach them easily mainly just like my makeup my baby wipes my like hand creams face washes all that my water bottle that I have not filled because I never researched how like the tap water is here so I don't know if the top water is like good for you or bad for you. I dug through my clothes and got some things out and just changed my outfit and because sh I showered last night. That's me. I probably look super skinny because I haven't eaten in like a day. <laughs> then we just have the bathroom again. I just have like my baby wipes out. I brushed my teeth and washed my face and all that good stuff. This is my view. I love this like greenery. I'm excited for when I get to explore Japan because it is so beautiful. I don't know if it ever gets sunny here. It just seems like it's not. They always, everybody um, asks, how's the weather, how's the weather? And I'm like, yeah, it's rainy season. I think that's like a train station. Yeah, looks like it. So you can see right there, there's like little people. So this cool little guy has like the control for the bed lights. There's one on the left. Okay, that's this one, let's see. Room light, okay. So there's a bed light right here. And as you can see, it just turned on and it controls it. And then you can do like the dimness I like all the lights off when I sleep, but it was kind of nice to have the choice. And the other one has a like thing on it, so you can see it does the same thing. But this is like the little control panel for the room, and then there's like a room light that you can turn on and off, and you saw that. And then you have the entry light, you click it on and off, and then you have the foot light. Foot light? Oh my gosh, there's a foot light! That's so cool! Um, yeah, and then like the AC I guess is over here. I actually have it on high because I was a little hot this morning and now I feel fine so I guess it worked. But when I first had it on this morning, it was on medium. Make up the room. Oh, this is if I want someone to come clean the room. This is if I want to be not disturbed. There's an actual alarm built in here. I have the phone. Right, so this is what they were talking about with the ports. They're just like got these two things. So I had to call and ask for a converter or whatever you want to call it, adapter. And it's like right here. So there we go. Let's see here. Ah, yes. This is my laptop charger. So I honestly like was like freaking out because I saw that and I was like, oh, my computer is not that charged. My computer is going to die. And I was like, if my computer dies, I have nothing to do for these days. Like I'm going to just be sitting in my room depressed and like not having anything to do. I was like, I'm going to not make it. So that being said, I am saved. I want to be real for a second. It is hard. It is hard leaving everything and just coming to a whole different world and like having to do that in this like time where this ROM, this restriction of movement is still a thing. Like it'd be different. Usually you go to your deployment and you move right onto the ship and then boom, you're working. But this is kind of like a little bit different and I'm gonna just use my time to be productive, you guys. I'm gonna knock out these YouTube videos and as soon as these two weeks are over, my real like experience here in Japan is going to begin and I'm going to begin living, breathing, and doing ship life. And it's going to be pretty awesome. It's like what I've been waiting to experience. Everything that I wrote down when I was writing down those lists of like my videos for YouTube, it really like was lifting this weight off my shoulders because I was like, ooh, I'm excited. Now I have these things to look forward to and writing them down just really helps. So I really suggest like journaling and writing your feelings down or writing down your plans, like planning things and writing it down is so key to like really like maintaining yourself and pushing yourself to do things and stick to them. So. Hi there you guys. So it is still day one. And I don't know why this is not focusing. I think it's my glasses. They're causing a little bit of a scene. It's gonna focus there you go okay so basically you guys I was like sitting here in my room editing the videos and we were getting text it was told to us that we're going to get new rooms so they just dropped off my room key at the door they just a little knock dropped off the key here it is so they moved us down a few floors I'm on the 15th floor right now I'm in 1510 but they're gonna be moving me to or I'm gonna be moving myself to 712 so I'm gonna text in my group chat that I just got my key card. We're just gonna make sure that we all aren't in the like elevator at the same time. We have to individually travel and then now be stuck in just that room. And they're moving us into supposedly bigger rooms. So you guys are gonna see that. We're gonna see what this new room looks like. I did love that this room had like this little vanity here that I used this morning to do my makeup. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Like I love this little like vanity we got going here. I just 
doing my makeup this morning was rather easy with the little like mirror. I'm gonna start packing up my things because I actually have a lot of my junk out and get ready to, to move all my things because I need to move rooms. Now I'm going down. So I gotta move seven floors down, eight floors, seven, eight, yeah, I'm on 15, yeah. I gotta move eight floors down to seven, 12, but my favorite number is 12. So, you know, this is obviously a good luck sign, so I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up all my stuff. I'm not gonna vlog that. You guys don't get to see me pack up my mess. So we're gonna go ahead and just skip to the new room. Okay, you guys, I made it. I had to wear my mask because I was going through the elevators and stuff like that, but I made it. This room's huge. Look at this room. So you walk in right here, and there's got like a little ledge. I set my backpack down, my food, and my phone, and new key card. I have my duffel my extra bag of toiletries, and then this thing right here. We got ourselves two nice waters. I have a whole couch, look at that. An entire couch. We have like a little tea section over here. Wow, look at this. I can have tea. Oh, nice, we have an actual microwave, because I didn't have one, and a fridge freezer. We have a little sitting area. Oh, this is nice. This is a desk for me to record on. And we have two twin beds, so I get to pick. I think I'm gonna pick the one near the wall. I was kind of looking at this one, but I think I'm gonna pick the wall. Now I'll probably sleep over there. This bathroom's nice. Here I am. And we have a hair dryer, the towels. Oh wait, that's not a hair dryer? Oh, it is. But this is another hair dryer? I don't know. Got, I think, a closet. Same thing. I didn't even have to wear my robe, guys. I'm gonna wear my robe tonight. Um, oh, it's automatic. That is so cool. And then the bathroom and shower. So we have a step up. A light is right here. We got our bathroom, the little mini sink. There's two. Oh yeah, look, they have the sink and then the sink. So they give like full bottles of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I thought that was so nice. And then I noticed this in the other room too. They have like an emergency phone call like phone right here. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> wow. I have a different view now. I'm lower. And they're higher walls, higher ceilings. Very nice. Hi there you guys, we are still on day two, but it's just the end of the day. I already moved into my new room and they sent us like these letters, they slid them under our door. Make sure your trash is outside every morning by 11. New linens and towels are always available. They have a whole setup by the elevator so we can just go grab as we need. Cleaning equipment can be delivered upon request. Daily breakfast will be set up at 6.40 at the hallway every morning. Avoidance of laundry service is highly appreciated, so no laundry that's fine though I mean I wasn't expecting to do laundry here until I got to the ship was when I was expecting to wash all the stuff so I'm gonna be completely out of civilian clothes by the time I'm done with this 14 day quarantine but so I'm definitely gonna be rotating my shirts and bottoms but honestly guys don't judge me it's just that I'm stuck in this room and I'm literally just just sitting here and editing and stuff like that and I shower every single day because I feel weird if I don't shower every day so don't judge me if you start seeing me reusing clothes I promise I'm clean and I'm probably showering more than once a day because I'm bored. So, um, it just says, at last, please share with us your status of physical condition every day around 18, 6 p.m. You can call us. Um, so I just got done with my phone call and um, they're just really going out of their way, you guys. Like, this hotel has been amazing and I just wanted to vlog. So that was just my last little update, you guys. I just wanted to include that in this video. Um. All right, you guys, I keep trying to end this vlog. I keep trying to end this vlog for the day, but <laughs> just keep having more stuff. But, so, um, they fed us a second time, dinner, and we just got like a message in our group chat that we have going that they did deliver food for us, um, and we went out and we just picked up like all the, we picked up the food, and we just went like one by one, like just kind of sounding off in the group chat, like, alright, I'm gonna go, and then alright, I'm gonna go, and like, on our way there, like, I'll see someone going back to the room, I'll be like, hello, other human. We grabbed our food, and they had waters, they had waters just like lined up. I think my next food run, I'm gonna just go take you guys with me, and you guys can just see my little, well, it's like a little square, actually, it's like, I'm on this corner, then I just go around, the food's right here, and then I go back around the square, so. so. Yeah, they got us today. I grabbed these water bottles, and they got us Pizza Hut. Oh my gosh. What is this? This looks great. I'm gonna try one of these thingies. I don't wanna really try it with the salsa though, but. Yeah. Honestly, guys, it was really dry. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 
all right guys I'm gonna really be ending this one like this is the end um, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow and we'll get right into what I have been up to for the day can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Thank you guys so much for watching. It's like, can you just tell me um how to say like thank you in Japanese? And she was like, it's arigato. So I learned my first Japanese word, arigato. I think I did know konnichiwa already. I'm pretty sure the Japanese. If it's not, I super apologize because I'm just super ignorant to the language. But um, arigato is like the first one. Like I actually, like, it's, I know it's Japanese. And I know how to use it and I'm super happy that I learned that one first.